Chapter 15 Alex's chest ached. She let the tears run unhindered down her face, as her heart broke for the man sitting next to her. She wished that JV had told her about his loss, but understood why she hadn't. She likely felt it was his to share, not hers. I didn't tell you so you'd feel sorry for me. Matt's voice whispered along her skin as his thumb swept across her cheek, wiping away the moisture. No, I get that. She took a deep breath and wondered what now. As much as she wanted to know what they could have, she couldn't push him after finding out the pain he'd been through. She looked away. I'll keep my distance. No. He sighed. That's not why I told you. I want to see where this goes but, he paused, I'm going to need you to be patient. I'm going to stumble. I'm going to hesitate. I told you where I'm coming from, so hopefully you'll be able to understand when I do back away or can't handle something right away. He fell silent long enough that Alex turned to look at him again. I want to try, but I need you to give me time. Can you do that? She watched him for several seconds. Yeah. I can do that. I can give you time. They sat in companionable silence for several minutes until Matt stood. I'm gonna go make sure things are okay inside. You ready to come in or will you be all right out here by yourself? I'm good for now. I'll be in in a little bit. All right. And thank you for being patient. He hesitated, as if he wanted to say something more. She looked up at him and gave him a gentle smile. It's no problem. He watched her a moment longer then went inside. Once he was gone she took a deep breath and let it out in a rush. It was a relief to know he felt the pull too, but could he get past the fear and hurt from losing his wife? Could she wait while he did?